I'm happy to be talking to you today about a study that we have recently published in the journal Brain. This study represents a collaborative uh, effort amongst three centers at the University of Toronto. Sunnybrook Health Sciences Centre, where I'm located, the University Health Network, and the Centre for Addiction and Mental Health. Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disorder characterized by progressive motor and non-motor symptoms. The motor symptoms, including tremor, rigidity, and bradykinesia, result from neuronal cell loss within the substantia nigra, a major uh, neuronal group that produces dopamine within the brain. Resagiline is a monoamine oxidase B inhibitor that blocks the breakdown of dopamine within the brain and elevates its levels. As a result, motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease are improved. In our study, we looked at over 200 polymorphisms comprehensively covering the entire dopamine system, uh, which is the main system involved in uh, the symptoms of the motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease. We also looked at um, clinical data from this trial and combined the genetic data and the clinical data in order to determine if the genetic variables predicted response to the drug. In terms of our results, we identified two single nucleotide polymorphisms that are located within the dopamine D2 receptor gene as being significantly associated with a positive response to resagiline, and these results survived correction for multiple testing. When we look at our results in more details, as shown by this figure, uh, what we can see here is that individuals who had the C allele only uh, had a clinical improvement in terms of their Parkinson's symptoms as represented by negative changes in their UPDRS scores over time. Those treated with placebo in red um, did not have the same improvement at 12 weeks, uh, and even those who had the A allele also did not improve at 12 weeks in relation to uh, risagiline. The two variants lead to alternative splicing of the dopamine D2 receptor gene. Specifically, those having the A allele have inclusion of exon 6 in the mRNA transcript, yielding the D2 long receptor variant due to inclusion of this amino acid sequence within the third intracytoplasmic loop. On the other hand, those who have only the C allele have exon 6 excluded from the mRNA transcript, and this yields the D2 short receptor uh, due to exclusion of this amino acid sequence. Why do we believe that these variants relate to resagiline response? Prior evidence has shown that the D2 long receptor is localized predominantly to postsynaptic uh, striatal medium spiny neurons, whereas the D2 short receptor is predominantly an autoreceptor being localized presynaptically to nigrostriatal afferents. We hypothesize that the localization of these two D2 receptor subtypes is important for modulation of basal ganglia circuits and critical for movement. In summary, we've identified two genetic variants within the dopamine D2 receptor gene that predict a favorable response to resagiline. Future work is needed to identify the exact mechanisms through which these variants operate um, in leading to the beneficial response to resagiline.